If you know my style of humor, you know what is going to end to the top of the list. Now, not all these movies are family friendly. I'm going to tell you that right now. They're not all family friendly. They're not all suitable for younger viewers. And I'm just going based off of what's on the list here. Okay. My favorite Christmas movie of all time that I think everybody can relate to on one level or another. It absolutely needs to be on the highest tier possible. We have the top of the nice list. Great. All right. Not the best. Ho, ho, horrible. And haven't seen. Okay. The one that has to go on the top of the list is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And here's why. Every, if you watch this movie, everybody has these other family members in the movie. You have... And Aunt Bethany, you have the in-laws that are unrelentingly uh, against what you're trying to do for the niceness of the holiday season. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. And this movie exemplifies that to the highest degree. And it it apt, and it still holds up compared to some of the other more uh, naughty-ish Christmas movies on the list. This is not a family-friendly movie. I cannot recommend you watch it, technically speaking. Okay? But if you watch it, you have to watch the uncensored version if you're of age and adult. Okay? Don't watch it on the TV. Like, it's one of my favorite movies. Christmas movies. So I think it's pretty great. Now, going through a lot of these here, there's some of these that I haven't seen. So I'm going to knock out, out of this first row here, what I have not seen. The Barbie one I haven't seen. Beauty and the Beast. I haven't seen Babes in Toyland. Have I seen Arthur Christmas? Friday After Next I haven't seen. Eloise. Hmm. A lot of people think in Christmas Vacation's overrated. Bre Bedward, how do you feel about that one? Overrated? Hmm. I don't know. The Night Before, I haven't seen. Ernest. What else have I not seen? Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. Nope. Nope. Okay. No, I have not seen as well. Drake and Josh, I, I haven't seen... Why would I have seen Babes in Toyland? Why would I have seen Babes in Toyland? Or the, the Barbie Nutcracker? Y'all gonna have a problem with that one too? Okay. What is overrated is their opinions, exactly. All right, so going with, uh, you know what I actually haven't seen? I haven't seen Eight Crazy Nights. This is technically a Hanukkah movie. I have not seen this movie. Call me a coward, call me whatever. I haven't seen uh, Eight Crazy Nights. So uh, I don't know how y'all feel about this, but I'm gonna toss it down here for now. You should watch Noel, it's really good. So after this, okay. We're going to put the ones that I should see toward the very top of the list here. So which ones of these should I see? And hello, Amishase. Noel is cute. Is that um is that like a romantic movie? I feel like a lot of these are like Christmas love stories and whatnot. Uh, I haven't seen Snow Globe. I have I I have seen Snow Globe. I watched that while I was uh putting together the Lego Christmas Village and it was just on the TV. I have seen that. All right. Another one I haven't seen, just to get it out of the way, I have not seen Die Hard. I haven't seen Die Hard. Don't go after me, chat. I haven't seen it. I don't know how many followers I'm going to lose. I know. <laughs> I know. I, I haven't seen it. And people tell me, oh, it's a Christmas movie. I, I, I don't know. Turn in your man card, the assistant. Who's, whoever said I had it to begin with, Veros? Come on. I I just, I haven't seen it. Babes in Toyland is 1980. Beth is still on Babes in Toyland. All right. The, the Merry Christmas, Drake and Josh, I haven't seen in a long time. So I don't know if it actually holds up or anything else. The pitchforks and torches are out. I'm going to put this on not seen. Okay. Let's, let's talk about this movie right here. This movie right here, Christmas Story. I, I'm gonna put it right. I'm gonna put it in the middle just for now. This doesn't mean it's all right. I th this is this is Bedward's favorite Christmas movie, so I believe. I don't know if that's changed in the past couple years. This movie, I feel like, becomes less and less relatable every year because of how old it is, and that's just by the design of what it is. Um, and 
a, a lot of it just doesn't I don't know I I like it there's a lot of classic lines in here fragile must be Italian licking the uh, the the telephone pole all those things it's toward the top of the list Is it toward the top of the list? I mean, I'm I'm not putting it on the top of the nice list. I'm willing to put it in great. That's the one where you get shot with the BB gun. Yeah, yeah, get shot with the BB gun. Yes, not in your top ten, Zach. Hello. I would say it's great. It's definitely not top of the nice list, but Christmas Story is good if you grew up with it. If you haven't seen it, you won't like it. That's true. It just it doesn't resonate. It's not as related, like, okay. Christmas Story is very, like, traditional, old-style family from, what, the 60s? Why is that so large? Thank you very much for following. It's from the 60s, right? So if you're not, if you're not a part of, like, oh, the 60s, how you grew up, you're like, why is this, why am I watching this? You're like, uh, you know? Christmas Story is very good, but it's been burnt out for me too many viewings. Yeah, that's that's one of those movies I play constantly. Charlie Brown Christmas, I feel like, is just all right. Change my mind. Is it just all right? All of these classic movies like this, the, the Charlie Brown Christmas, it, 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 this might be <laughs> this might be a situation like of age, right? So Charlie Brown Christmas movie. Frosty the Snowman, all of those, I kind of feel like are in that all right category for me. The music, yeah, but the music y you listen to on the radio. Christmas Story takes place in 1939. See, that's what I mean. It's just... Rudolph never gets old. Oh, Rudolph's ancient. Are you serious? Rudolph's a thousand years old. A thousand years old. I'm just going to put a couple of these that I haven't seen. Have I seen Bad Santa? I have seen Bad Santa. That is not family friendly at all. But you know the music because of the movie? No, I know the music because I've put the radio on and they constantly play it. Take one like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was great when I was a kid, but now it's cringe because of the, the bigotry. And is, it, is there really that in there? I didn't know that. I pay attention next time. Why is Santa such a punk in all the Rankin Bass flicks? I don't... I Oh, these ones? I don't know. I'm going to put... Okay, I'll put it in great. It, it's going to stack up with a Christmas story uh, for the sake of that. I don't necessarily... I haven't, I haven't seen Medea's Family Christmas. That one I haven't seen. Um, I haven't seen Arthur Christmas. I haven't seen Daddy's Home 2. Fred... Okay. Uh, this Christmas can this Christmas Carol here, the one with uh, Jim Carrey, is this one? Is this one decent? I haven't seen this one. Are we doing PG? Oh, we're doing everything. Bad Santa's on the list. Christmas Vacation's on the list. It is. Uh, this hasn't been my favorite rendition of Chris Christmas Carol. Zach's saying it's terrible. I love Charlie Brown Christmas, but I'd say it's not an all-around enjoyable movie for everyone, especially younger viewers. That's fair. Hi, Brian. What's your favorite movie? We're literally deciding that right now. We're going through all the Christmas movies. Right now, top of the list is uh, Christmas Vacation. Okay, so Brandon agrees with the list so far. Jim Carrey's Christmas Carol is a travesty. Ouch. A travesty. Oh, well, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Horrible. Bad Santa. We're gonna leave this. We're gonna leave this off. The, I have seen it. We're gonna leave it off the list. That is very not family friendly. Casper's Haunted Christmas. I haven't seen in a long time. Maybe ever. I don't know. Polar Express is totally on here. Where's Polar Express? Right here. We're, we're getting. We're, we gotta work up to it. We gotta take our time. Take our time. Rise of the Guardians is a Christmas movie? Oh, yeah. Isn't that Jack... Fr isn't there some weird fan fiction about this movie? Is this some fan fiction? I don't... I don't no, we're, we're all set with fan fiction. 
Santa. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put all the ones I haven't seen on here. I also haven't seen Scrooged. Is this a mistake? Should I have seen Scrooged? I don't know. That's a good movie. Scrooged is OP. All right, so I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put the the top of the must view list is over here. Scrooged is top five. Gremlins. Oh, you don't want to know how I feel about Gremlins, Zach. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, I have not seen this. So, I can't believe I've seen Snow Globe. I, I watched Unaccompanied Miners, I think, one time. Not enough to rank it, I guess. Christmas with the Cranks I've seen. Jingle Jangle haven't seen. Holiday Inn. Remember the Night. Trading Places. Preacher's Wife. I may turn this off and just do my own list. This is infuriating. I linked it up above... You can do what you want. Tokyo Grandfathers. Haven't seen that. Uh, the Tom and Jerry one. No. So you haven't seen the good ones. I, I We're not done with the lit. Like, I'm just putting the ones that I haven't seen. I'm just putting the ones that I haven't seen. You're, what, you're telling me you've seen Jack Frost? Come on. Relax. Winnie the Pooh. Christmas Chronicles? Uh, no, we're good. Every time that song plays in my library, the class gets up and tries to do the Irish dance. I don't know what song you're talking about, but... Night Before Christmas. I don't know what that is. White Reindeer, no. No. The Man Who Invented Christmas, hello. You haven't seen the SpongeBob special? I'm 25 years old. I don't know. I, it's been a long time. It's been a while. Man, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Klaus in in ho -ho horrible. Is that okay, chat? Is that okay? I feel like I'd be banned off the internet if I did that. <laughs> uh I haven't seen Love Actually. Christmas Chronicles is great. Well, that's Christmas Chronicles 2. I think I have I think I saw the first Christmas Chronicles. Krampus, I haven't seen. The lightest, littlest night? No. Why him? I don't know. Christmas Chronicles 2 is trash. Okay. Meet me in St. Louis? No one needs to go to St. Louis. Let me tell you what. Not a chance. So I've heard the holiday is good. This is the one. This is the one where they flip, right? I've heard about this one. They, they flip flop lives. Why him is not terrible? I'll put it toward the top of the list. Christmas Chronicles first one is great. Gotcha. Let it snow. Haven't seen. No opinions on the holiday. 8-Bit Christmas. Haven't seen. Holiday Affair. Haven't seen. Bad Mom's Christmas Snow. I haven't seen a lot of these movies. This is kind of disturbing. I don't know. So I don't think I've seen that miracle on 34th Street. Man, I'm really a fair weather. Jeez. The Brady... Hands up in the chat if you've seen the Brady Bunch Christmas. Has anyone seen the Brady Bunch Christmas? Anyone in the chat? A hundred years old? Anyone? Twelve Days of Christmas? No. Die Hard 2 I haven't seen. <laughs> You'll need a longer stream. We're getting it. This is just from what I haven't seen. You haven't seen the 8-Bit Christmas? I have not. I haven't seen the Dolly Parton one? No. Hawkeye does not count as a Christmas movie. No. Hawkeye does not count as a Christmas movie. Nope. The holiday was fantastic. I'll put it toward the top of the list. You're not missing much with 8-Bit? Okay. We're starting to get down to it here. Let, let's do let's do a divisive one. Let's do a divisive one. I... I think the original 
How the Grinch Stole Christmas is not the best. Controversial opinion. The thing about this is by having, and we're going to get to this because there's three different iterations of, of Grinch on this list. Three different iterations of Grinch. The thing about How the Grinch Stole Christmas, they do the best with it by it being animated because you have more to do with the Whoville than if you did it just in live action, right? So this iteration, the original version, although iconic, you get the song, you're a mean one, you know, all that. They didn't do enough, even, even at the time, they didn't do enough to play up the 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 myth, mystical nature of Whoville. They didn't do as much as they could. And so I think it suffers a lot from being old. At the time, I I mean yes, but but we're we're holding it a, a standard to to the same level as as a lot of other things. I'm willing to put it in all right. Put it in all right. It is not one of the greatest. It's just all right. So while we're talking Grinch, OG Grinch is overrated. Thank you for validating me, Brandon. Thank you. While we're talking Grinch, Jim Carrey's Grinch. How do we feel about this one, chat? How do we feel about this one? Because this is the one I grew up with, to be fair. I grew up with this one. Retro Gamer says Garbo. Joey says... So, so, okay. Can Retro Gamer and Joey give me a relative... If you can't... Don't give me an exact number. Because it, I feel like it depends on how old you are. And then there's Steve. I think this Grinch is funny. And cap out of, out of all of the Grinch iterations, best captures what Grinch could possibly be, being being funny, being agitated, being sinister, but still playful. There's a lot of emotion showed with Jim Carrey's Grinch. It was scary. You thought this was scary? Only old people like the OG Grinch. I mean, most quoted Grinch... Yeah, you know how many memes I've seen of, like, you know, the Grinch being relatable to millennials and stuff? You think it's creepy? I mean, Grinch is creepy. It's scary for littles. I, that's kind of the... Isn't that the point? Live-action Grinch is at the top of the list. Well, I'm, I'm going to put it... Uh, this is not where... I forgot to tweet out that I'm live. That's a very streamer thing to say. The best one... Martha May is my eye. <laughs> Put Jim Carrey, Grinch, and Great maybe top of the nice list. I would say it's great. Any disagreements here? Is Home Alone considered a Christmas movie? If Home Alone isn't considered a Christmas movie, then Spider-Man No Way Home is not a Marvel movie. <laughs> Doctor Strange Grinch is the best So let's talk about the Doctor Strange Grinch So to me You can't put Jim Carrey Grinch above the OG Grinch I absolutely just did Steve I just did So to me In order If I'm in charge of Hollywood If I'm doing A, a Grinch project a movie, a series, whatever. Like I said with the original Grinch, it has to be animated to best capture the wackiness, the colors, the, the physics, the nonsensical nature of Whoville and everything else. So to me, it is, to me, this is absolutely better than the, actual, the original Grinch. I disagree that that it's forgotten. All of the all of the gadgets he pops out with, all of the things that 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 he does to like really uh, uh, just make it just a spicy movie. I really like this. I like this one a lot. I'm not saying I, I yes, 
I, I'm willing to put it in great. Ray, you didn't have to say, like, you're like, wait, this is Ray. I could tell it's you. Your name's Frozen Ray. Hello, Ray. Christmas Story isn't at the top. It's outdated. It's outdated. So to me, I'm going to put it in the great category. I, I like the whimsy. I like the way the world, the world is built. The way that like the sleigh flies down each of the pathways. It's very, it's very charismatic. It's, it's got a lot of flavor to it. I like Jim Carrey's Grinch better than Benedict Cumberbatch. But, and, and, and to me, Jim Carrey as Grinch was way more expressive than Benedict Cumberbatch, even though the 2018 one was animated. So, so that's where I rank on that. Brian, your opinions are trash. You're trash, Steve. Let's get another trash opinion out of the way. I'm going to say something right now. I'm going to say something that's going to lose me viewership. People are going to leave. People are going to leave and never come back. Zach, you already gifted me the 10 subs yesterday. You can't rescind it. About time someone else recognizes that Jim Carrey Grinch is a good movie. Also, Zach, don't break the internet again, pretty please. We're going to break the internet again. I think Gremlins is ho ho horrible. I think Gremlins is horrifically overrated and nowhere near as good. Nowhere near as good as anyone says Gremlins is. Gremlins is just weird. It doesn't do anything to justify the excitement that it has. It's just okay. It's just okay. Gremlins is horrible on purpose and let it be horrible. Die Hard is on the have not seen list, Amish. I, I just, I can't get behind Gremlins. Brian's opinions on movies are the opposite of correct opinions. Ah. Uh, uh Yeah, it's a horror movie for it's it's not a Christmas movie. No. I I Gremlins represents everything awful about the 80s. Wow. Wow. Oh, mama. Those are fighting words. All right. Um we we can get another let, let's get another great one out of the way. I just saw it on the list. We're going to get another great one out of the way. You children, you children don't know greatness when you see it. You don't understand because, because your minds are too small. You don't have a greater understanding of the world. And when you do, one day, you will appreciate the morals, the perspective, the appreciation for It's a Wonderful Life, goaded, top of the list, top of the list, top. It is, it, if you are feeling down about life or you're like whatever, and you need you need that eye-opening, uh, uh, heartwarming Christmas story, It's a Wonderful Life is that, it is old. It is super old. Yes, it's old. It is very old. But the that, that idea of like, okay, hit, him saying, I wish I had never been born. And then you exactly get that. Chat, how can we trust an opinion from someone who hasn't seen Die Hard or Scrooged? But it's a wonderful life at the very least. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give me that one. You gotta give me that one. Because you get to see the perspective. Like, like, you know, there are times when I'm having a bad day and I'm like, man, not that I wish I'd never been born, but like, what if that happened? And then, and then it lets you realize how much life would be different without you and it's a it's it's like a christmas story no i'm sorry it's it's um what's it what's the name of the movie it's uh what why am i drawing a blank it's like christmas carol but like but like a different perspective it is i i i think i think those who have seen it you can absolutely agree Oh Ben, you're you're gonna you're gonna cry. Oh, you're gonna cry super hard. And then come on, 
You see the moon? I can lasso the moon for it. Come on, it's classic, classic. Get a pole for what, Eli? This is un undebatable, undebatable. Yes, everyone needs to watch It's a Wonderful Life. It is super old, but it's good. We don't need to have a... No, we're not having a poll for, for who likes It's a Wonderful Life. Watch it. Get educated, children. Okay, so, so Sam sure will not keep quiet about Elf, so we're going to put Elf on this list. I think it's just all right. Debate me. This is the one all the kids are like, oh, this is my Christmas movie. It's it's just, it's it's all right. It's just all right. I do, I do like the idea because a lot of these Christmas songs, these Christmas movies are very repetitive. Christmas Carol, Christmas, whatever, whatever. The idea that there is a elf that was misplaced at Santa's workshop goes to New York to try to find his dad. He gets an adopted family. I think it's really good. I like that idea a lot. But for some people, elf is too obnoxious. It's too childlike. Elf did not hit the top. It's just, it's just all right. It's just all right. If you're not, uh, and I understand it's too childlike. I get it. I get that. But like, I'm not saying, I'm not saying he needed to, Will Ferrell needed to be more mature, but for some people that just doesn't vibe and you're just like, ah, I think it's just all right. The story is great. Watching the making of the movie, my heart feels for that crew, but so wishing that story was given more creative juice than it was. That's what I mean. If there was a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more creative juice. Okay. 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 Someone is grumpy. They got coal for Christmas. I've never gotten coal for, I actually, I have gotten coal for Christmas. It's just a lot of, a lot of the youngins who think, you know, You thought Elf was inappropriate? I wouldn't say Elf is inappropriate. I think it's just, I don't know. They all can't make us look within ourselves to relive trauma and experience existential crisis. Oh, that's what technically Elf is, right? Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's get another one up here. Um, Somebody, somebody give me one. Give me one out of here. Elf is not inappropriate for eighth graders. Oh, Home Alone 3 is ho ho garbage. Let's any any takers? Any takers? Okay, no, we're good. Home Alone 4, that's not on the list. Hawkeye is not a Christmas movie. This is not a Christmas movie. No spoilers for Hawkeye. It's not a Christmas movie. No. Muppets Christmas Carol. Let's get one thing straight, kids. Let's get one thing straight. The Muppets are excellent. Michael Caine is excellent. The music is excellent. The way that this was pulled off puts it at the top of the nice list. Abso are you kidding me? Did you think I was going to put this at the bottom of the list? Did you think I was going to put Muppets Christmas Carol at the bottom of the list? Get out of here. Get out of here. Goaded. Goated, top of the nice list. It's one of the best interpretations of the, the Muppet Christmas Carol because it's not just regurgitating the same story again. It's it's doing something different. It's adding narrative into the story. It's making it more appealing for a younger audience. And the humor in here, if you want more like Brian Saviano-like humor, in Muppet's Christmas Carol is it too. I really like a lot of the Muppet stuff. I'm a, I'm a Muppets fan, so that that's that's that. You put K Jim Carrey's Grinch as a new one? Yeah. It does have big Muppet energy. This does have BME. 
Chris Muffet's Christmas Carol is excellent. Yes. Yeah. I think the Muppets are. Happy holidays, Brian. Hope you have a good Christmas and New Year. See you later. Thank you very much, Pulse, for the four months. And yes, I will. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you, too. I'm going to be still doing stuff. Don't worry. So. This is, list is objectively wrong. Let's get an, let's get another opinion on here. Um, this Mickey one I thought was all right. A any any other? Not the best. I remembered it being differently as a kid, so we're gonna put one in not the best. This one I feel like I haven't seen. Let's do let's do Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. How many how many elderly people with the canes and walkers have seen Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street? Anybody? How many people have seen this? Bubba Lavo says yes. Okay. So, so in case you haven't seen Miracle on 34th Street, the gist is this guy needs to justify to people that he is Santa Claus. This little girl believes that he's Santa Claus and no one believes him because Santa isn't real. Right? So he's trying his very best to prove it, prove it, prove it. And otherwise, I think the movie is very old and it's not relatable anymore, especially now. A lot of it's involving like the like Macy's. And it's kind of like a Macy's ad a little bit. But the best part about this movie that I really appreciated was the end and spoiler alerts for this ancient movie. But the way that they prove that this guy is Santa Claus is because they they use the letters that kids wrote to this guy's real name as proof that he is Santa Claus in court. Which I think is a really unique way of proving that, yes, this guy is Santa Claus and, like, whatever. So I really like that. I think it's just all right. No, Beth, this movie aired in black and white. It's ancient. So is It's a Wonderful Life. It's ancient I think it's all right but it, it would have been lower if it weren't for that ending I like the ending not relatable because it involves letters instead of emails <laughs> if people just tweeted it's fine all right Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer I think it's on the same tier as Grinch man I think Zach said it a little earlier I think I think it's right on par it's just all right. It's, it's, it's just all right. It's just all right, you know? Yeah, Lego McDuck. Miracle on 34th Street is boring for your age, but it, it should be seen. You should see it, you know? Who hurt you as a child? I, I just, I, I, it's just all right. The, Rudolph's just all right. I used to love Rudolph, but I don't think I'd care if I never saw it again. There you go. See? An angry elf logger just donated $1. Why did... <laughs> That's a good play on your name, Eli. That's great. I, I couldn't read the message. Hold on. Eli said, what's this poo-poo opinion? Elf is one of the greatest Christmas movies of all time. It's just okay. It's just okay. Anyways, I think Rudolph is decent. We're gonna put Rudolph there. No, no, no opinions. Oh, that's Rankin Bass. I thought that was a naughty term. Yeah, it's good. It's good background watching, but to have a child sit there and watch it now, you can, not a chance. Chat is a war zone right now. Let's make chat more of a war zone. Home Alone 1. No, just kidding. Home Alone 1. It definitely does not hold up today because you just call the kid on the cell phone. Has anyone seen that new one on Disney Plus? I've heard that is hot garbage. I like Home Alone. The music is incredible. The the idea is great. It's it's a different holiday movie in general 
You think Home Alone is bad? I would say, out of all of the ones that are on here right now, you think it's a great movie, but not top of the nice list? Hmm. Home Alone 1 is good when you think of it as Jigsaw's origin story, basically, yes. Edgar, thank you for following. The first half is good, but the ending is terrible. The new Home Alone... Oh, okay. I'll have to watch it just for the sake of doing it. Home Alone franchise is hot trash. Luke, I'm going to rescind your VIP and I'm just going to ban you. I, I, I'm just going to ban you. That is, that is a disgusting opinion. It's more of a matter if it goes into great or top of the list. I'm going to put it here for now because these two, Home Alone 1 and 2, you can, you can put these on the same tier. So where should these go? New to your streams, hope I enjoy you. Well, you're in for something. We're, we're dividing up chat. They're, uh, they're not, they're not nice. You think two is better? Why do you think two is better? And why is Steve saying, no, you can't? I think they're on the same tier. If, if they're on the list, they have to be on the same tier. I like to, two is a lot of fun. I think, I think the part where he's, he's walking through the park at night and he's encountering all the weird people in New York, although maybe accurate. I think it's a little creepy, a little too creepy. Home Alone 1 has just pure whimsy. Home Alone 2 does nothing original. We are nice. Your rankings are absurd. Okay. New York is more interesting than just a neighborhood. That's fair. You thought the old guy was one is creepy, but mom jeans. No, 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 no. You, you thought he was creepy because Buzz was the one who said he was creepy. And then tell me what an endearing moment, an endearing moment it is when, when Kevin is sitting in church and then the grand, that it, may, it makes my heart. I'm, I, I might, I'm start, I get welled up thinking about it. So. When the, when the grandfather's like, that's my granddaughter up here. I can't see her because I'm arguing with my father. Like, oh my goodness. If there's anything like, like not not that my family's all divided or whatever, but like that, that like, oh, like, oh, I want to, I want to see, like, t that just tears you apart. Oh my goodness. It tears you and you're like, yeah, now, now you empathize. However, the moment, and I get, I get welled up thinking about it, in, in Home Alone 2, after this is the second time that it's happened with Kevin and his mom, and when they, like, what, that motherly, that motherly instinct, right? It's a movie. But she's like, he's at the tree. And then they meet up at the tree there, and it's just a very, like, wholesome moment there. So I think those two moments are on a similar tier for me. You know, you're not based in the Home Alone franchise. Yeah, half of them are trash. I don't know. I don't think they included. They might have included Home Sweet Home Alone. Did I, did I miss it here? I put it down here. I haven't seen it. Oh, and the Homeless Lady 2 for Home Alone, Home Alone 2. And then the Turtle Doves! The Turtle Doves! Come on! I, I would like... Okay, all right. Should should two be above one? Ah, you, you reminded me. Ah, you reminded me. The turtle doves. Ah. Uh, if I put two here, is that okay? One is above two. Ah. Uh, both same top tier. I'll put it at top tier. I'll put it on top of the nice list. I'll get. I'll give it to you. I'll, I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. And the limo, right? Right. I'll, I'll give that to you.
<laughs> Home Alone 2 is the only movie on this list with a U.S. president in it. That's true. Brayden made fun of me for crying. Brayden, you'll cry like a man one day too. Real men cry. Let it be known. Speaking of crying. All right. Santa Claus 3. No, we're, no, we're going to go. We're going to go in order. The Santa Claus franchise. What do we got? Santa Claus 1, 2, and 3. I have a controversial, semi-potentially perhaps controversial opinion on the Santa Claus franchise. Let me know when you're ready to hear it. Let me know when you're ready to hear it. Katie hates it here. You're not the only one. Joey's ready. I think the Santa Claus franchise is one of the best executed ideas for how Santa Claus and the North Pole is portrayed. Between the legacy of Santa Claus being passed down, the way the North Pole is set up, the fact that it it's like underground in the Arctic and the only the pole is sticking out there, right? And the you know all of that. I think the lore and the the world of the Santa Claus is excellent. And if I were in charge, if I were directing a movie, and you took all the different elements from all these Christmas movies and made an ultimate interpretation of what the North Pole should be, the Santa Claus franchise I think does it the best, one of the best. The fact that all the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny, they're all these different council members and they meet up and it's a whole thing. Come on. Come on. It has some of the best lore. Like, and Santa, fall, like, if Santa passes away, falls off the roof, whatever, whoever finds the code is the one, and then he becomes Santa Claus over the year, over the, over, like, the amount of time and then the, the things with his son. It's, I think that's really, really great. <laughs> Have a good night, Steve. So I will say, I think Santa Claus 1, I think Santa Claus 1 is great. Nope. I think it's great. I think Santa Claus 2 I think Santa Claus 2 is on the top of the list. Any con any other any debate on this because I like that it's it's the Mrs. Claus, right? Trying to find his wife and then the scene where all the miserable people, all the miserable people at that holiday party are like, "Uh, and then and then he pops out a note like he has to he has to do the Christmas cheer because it's it's ticking down. And he had he gives the, the childhood gifts to all the people, all the miserable non-Santa believing adults at the holiday party. That is such a unique and incredible thing. Right, and <laughs> he's at he's at the uh, the lunch, and then everyone orders sal salad except him. What's the first movie at the top of the night list? Uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. If I put Santa Claus 2 at the top of this list, does anyone disagree? Over Santa Claus 1. No? Okay. Now, Santa Claus 3, on the other hand, not the best. And we're just going to brush by that one. The Polar Express. The Polar Express. So I remember watching this with my grandfather in IMAX when it first came out. And I remember this is also one of those movies that has some incredible lore for the North Pole. And what they did with with um, CGI faces and humans in this movie was very revolutionary for the time. The music is excellent. Hot chocolate. Hot, hot. Oh, we got it. Hot, hot. Come on. That's so good. So I think that's great. 
it's kind of an action movie. And then they go into the North Pole, and it's like a. This is another good interpretation of the North Pole because there's all these different, basically, apartments for the elves, and there's a ton of them, but they're all gathered in the middle. They're not social distancing. So there's a ton of elves. The factories are very interesting. I, I like how it's portrayed. <laughs> the train on the ice. Dun, 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 dun. Right. It's a phenomenal movie in general. Jackson was Tom Hanks, Polar Express conductor for the Santa picture. Nice. And the bell, the bell is really nice. And then, and then he cuts out the tickets, and they have all the different words based on who they are as people. This is a, this is a great one. Does anyone disagree? Does anyone disagree? It's a top. It's a top. We'll put it at the top. Let's see. Is there any other ones I haven't seen? Twas the, I don't think I've seen Twas the Night. Christmas. So Christmas Chronicles. Uh, Fortnite Sweat. Thank you for following. Mr. Popper's Penguins. Is that what this is right here? Well, I haven't, I haven't seen that movie. Christmas with the Cranks. Uh, this this is like, to me, the worst. Like, I, I don't want to be a Christmas with the Cranks. Oh, we're, we're going to go away to Florida for Christmas. We don't want to be up in here. You know, it's... I think it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. You know, it's just all right. Miracle on 34th Street is my yearly need to watch. I was talking about it earlier, Kirk, that I think a lot of it is outdated, but the ending for them to justify Santa Claus, I think, is really endearing. Christmas Chronicles 2 is ho-ho horrible. Well, I haven't seen Christmas Chronicles 2, so we're not ranking it. Snow, uh, Snow Globe, I'm just going to... I have seen it. I'm just going to put not the best. All right. Let's see. What's a uh, this one? Winter Wonderland. I haven't seen. Um, Santa Claus is coming to town. This one is on the same tier as these. It's just a side, side. Yeah, I mean we're ranking them even if they're not family friendly. That's fine. Except Bad Santa. We're not ranking Bad Santa. Uh, White Christmas. I also have not seen. You're without a Santa Claus. This kind of goes on the same tier as the rest of these, I feel like. Fred Claus is good. I've seen Fred Claus. Wait, is Fred Claus not on the... Uh, yeah, right here. Um, I like Fred Claus. This is another one that does good uh, world building. I really haven't seen a lot of Christmas movies in all actuality. You watch the same ones year after year, you know what I mean? Fred Claus, I, I like... You've seen Snow Globe, but not Babes in Toyland or Die Hard. The only reason I've seen Snow Globe was because it was on the background while I was assembling a Lego Christmas village at my uncle's house. It was not because I willingly was like, man, I want to feel what a love story feels like. Let me put on Snow Globe real quick. That was not what the logic was. So I'm going to put Fred Claus here i think that works white christmas is a classic nearly watch it every year so this is the same age as the same era as miracle on 34th and it's a wonderful life i haven't seen it to me that seems like the most boring of the three i haven't i haven't seen white christmas so i can't put it at the top of the list four christmases i haven't seen Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, no. I don't know what movie this is. Did somebody tell me what movie this is right here? I don't know what that movie is. Frosty the Snowman could be at the same area as this. They're all the same. Deck the Halls, I've seen years ago. But that's on the same tier as Christmas with the Cranks. 
Yeah, it's not Scrooge. Scrooge is right there. So, so kind of going, we're, we're getting down to it here. So how many in the chat have seen all of the other reindeer? Has anyone seen this? Oh, that one's Flubber. I haven't seen Flubber. So this is an interesting one. So all of the other reindeer is an animated movie that plays on the Rudolph song. So you have Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a shiny nose. Then if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. So what I really like is that the name of the, the film is all of the other reindeer. So it's like in the song. They, they took that classic song and they're like, let's make an animated stint out of it. So I haven't seen it in many, many, like I'm talking 15 years. So I'm just going to put it in... Not the best, but I really like the name, and I like what the, they're building on for the lore and all that. It's another 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 good one. Rudolph. Rudolph is going to be... One part of this list is going to be reorganizing the best of these right here. These ones right here. Uh, Frosty the Snowman, same thing. Same era right here. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas, I love a lot. Prancer is not on the list, not that I see. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas, Joe, you do not like Nightmare Before Christmas? That's kind of shocking. That's kind of shocking. I really like Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, but that would require me having to install uh, Fall Guys, Kirk. I don't know about that one. You detest this movie. Why do you detest this movie, Joe? It's just not a good Xmas movie. It's Nightmare Before Christmas. Some people debate if it's a Christmas or a Halloween movie. Orange or Red Tear. Basing it off of the movie that it is. It's too scary and anti-Christmas. It's horrid, ugly, and hideous. I feel like that would appeal to, like... I, I don't know. It should be below S tier in great. The music in this is excellent. And everything involving Oogie Boogie, I love. The roulette wheel with all the glow in the dark effects and come on just for the animation alone the stop motion animated feature film back in what 1990 incredible incredibly well done oogie boogie is goaded danny elfman goaded soundtrack is great not s tier i agree that movie is a Halloween movie. It's called Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, they have a How It's Made special on Netflix. I'll have to check that out. Here comes Halloween. 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 Christmas Chronicles, I thought was uh, it's a little it's a little weird. Where'd I put it? Uh-oh. Where'd I just put it? There we go. I thought this was just weird. I for, I forget how exactly I thought it was weird. Y'all say top tier? Really? Y'all loved it? My goodness. Y'all feel really opinionated on this one. All right. I don't like Tim Burton, but Nightmare Before Christmas was horrible regardless. That's objectively wrong. No Way Christmas Chronicles is better than Jim Carrey. I, oh, I'm not saying it's at the top of the nice list. I actually, I don't remember what this movie, I'm going to put it in all right for now. I got to watch this trailer for a second. Hold on. Uh, Christmas. Aren't the elves super weird? I, I can't watch it on um, with y'all here. 
but I can play it on mute in the background. Aren't these elves super weird? Aren't they like bunnies? Hold on. Yes, they're like bunnies. What is this? What is this? You're telling me, you're telling me the elves, you're telling me this is a top tier Christmas movie when the elves look like rabbits? Get out of here. What are you talking about, chat? What are you talking about? These are rabbits. Y'all are off kilter. What are you talking about? I've seen the movie. Yes, I've seen it. What is this? Hello? Oh, I won't get copyrights through it. It's fine. I'll play it on mute. Yeah, okay. The second half of the film has a brick belt black knight in it. It must have made you feel like your childhood, Aaron. One adventure. The elves look like rabbits. I think I remember, I think I remember watching this at my cousin's house last year or two years ago. I think it was last year. And I'm like, okay, this movie is great other than the elves looking like rabbits. That's I think that's the only problem I have. And I like What's his name? Kurt. I'm drawing a blank. I I like this actor as Santa. Listen, if you can uh, Kurt Russell, thank you. If you can pretend Muppets exist with people, then you can accept those elves. Nah, but the elves are CGI. Look at, look at the, look at, what, wait, hold on, hold on. What is this? No, chat. What on this green and blue marble are you talking about? Y'all, you're not going to compare the elves to these Muppets. No. And they all live in a sack. Yeah, we're not doing this. No. I'm willing to put it on... Great. I'm putting it on great. Not not putting it top of the nice list. Those rabbits are weird. Jingle all the way. I remember liking... It's, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger with a... A Christmas movie built in, so there's like an isn't there like isn't there like a like a gunfight in a factory or something? Isn't that something crazy? It's like there's like it's like a Hawkeye. There's like thugs. Isn't this one just all right too? That was filmed in Minnesota. Uh, I mean, you think Jingle All the Way is S tier? No, no. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. And and to to end off at least the the formal the formal rankings. Klaus is a wonderfully animated movie. Wonderfully wonderfully animated movie. It is a little bit a little bit too dark for me at points. At points, I think it's I think it's a little too dark between the people hating each other in the in the the town. You know, if you, if you haven't seen it, there's a lot of things at the end where it, it gets very. It's, it's just a, it's a very somber movie. It's a somber movie. However, it is beautifully animated, beautifully acted. And the idea of the post, the guy being the postman like that, that's another one of those Christmas movies that is different from everything else and is really, really well done. Your right tier is so full. It is so full. New classic. I need to watch this again. I want to put this in great. So, so now that we have this, right? Same animation studio that made Into the Spider-Verse. That makes a lot of sense. 
Now that we have this list here, I'm willing to put Elf in great. Elf does not stand on the same footing as Jingle all the way. I know better than that. I, I'm, not, I'm not a massive Elf fan, but I understand. It's better than a lot of these in great. Or, all right. Jim Carrey moves up. I think there should be a Grinch in the top. Eli, you think we're friends? Hello. So, which which one of these? Okay. Which one of these in great? I feel like there's like one or two spots. Which one of these in great moves up? The new Grinch? Okay. Is there any moderator in the chat? Because I don't want to make the poll. So we we might need to rank. We might need to do a Grinch poll. Elf is definitely not great. Or I'm sorry, Elf is definitely not on the top of the nice list. So there's not a chance. Alright, let me see if I can do a poll. Gotta love that all, all the moderators are gone. Nice. I'm gonna put up a poll for three minutes. Which Grinch? Simple question. Simple question. The animated 2018 one or Jim Carrey's Grinch? I this this is a divided one. Wow! Y'all are at it! Y'all are at it! Go! 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 This is gonna be tough. So I like the 2018 one better because it I don't know if I like it, but you see it's a dev one. If you're in the chat, vote in the poll. If you're in the chat, vote in the poll. Come on. There's 51 people here. Vote in the poll. Vote it. Come on. You got a choice. Jim Carrey's Grinch or the Animator Grinch. Let's go. Which one? It's, it's not going to be a tie. They both have their excellent points about them. Animated Jim Carrey is a fever dream. Ooh! Lap, what's up? Thank you for popping out of the shadows there. But I, I like Jim Carrey's delivery and sense of humor more than Benedict Cumberbatch. But I think the world of Grinch and the whimsical nature of Whoville is better portrayed in the 2018 animated Grinch. So if you took the facial expressions and the demeanor of Jim Carrey's Grinch and you put that in the 2018 animated one, I think you'd have a great, a great movie. Only boomers like Jim Carrey, uh, we get it, you can make facial expressions. I wouldn't say it's... Cr now, let's let's back the gravy train up here. Let's, let's back this up. Let's back it up. Grinch needs to be expressive, and, and Grinch was expressive even in the what looks now cursed how the Grinch stole Christmas with the mouth going like that and you needed to get an actor and the prosthetics to convey that in live action and I think they did that really well for what it was I really do okay but which one is a hotter moth of me I mean I'm not yeah 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 So the, the poll is still going for another 30 seconds. We got 11. It's a 41-59 split. If you're lurking in the chat, come on! This makes me sick. He's losing. I mean, is it a, a younger bias? Is it an older bias? Jim Carrey's overrated, to be honest. A lot of people feel that way. I don't... If you've ever seen um, Truman's show, that's a great one. 59% of the vote votes for the animated Grinch at the top of the nice list. 
Wow, Chad. Wow. I don't know about this one. That's a that's a tough one. Oh man. Wow. Mamma mia. That's that's a tough that's a tough one. <laughs> boomer. I'm not a boomer, hello? I I don't disagree. So, to, yeah, that's a good sample size. Is there any other one on this list besides the Grinch? Kate, have a great night. Is there anyone on here on any of these tiers that you feel like should move up? Retro Gamer, you can't just spam Elf. It has to be other, other ones that should move up. Klaus, Elf... Christmas, cr cr the the Christmas chronic. They look like rabbits. No, no, no. They look like rabbits. I'm not putting it at the top. Get out of here. They look like rabbits. Get over it. You think Elf is at the top of the nice list? I haven't seen the holiday. All right. Gremlins, I'll move up. That's fair. These are rabbits. I Elf in the top? Okay. All right. Here's a here's another great poll. Oh, we're gonna do a great poll right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna Hold on. I got a good one for you, chat. I got a real good one. This is going to make people mad. I got a I got a good one. Only one of these is going to go. Another 3 minute poll begins. Which one of these goes on the nice list? Klaus or Elf? Only one can go on the top of the nice list. Which one goes on the top? Cl <laughs> uh, streaming is not my full-time thing, but I have a YouTube channel, podcast, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, basically. El y'all gotta, y'all gotta. There's a lot of love for Klaus though. A lot of love for Klaus. Never even heard of Klaus. It's excellent. I, I would recommend watch. It's not a boomer movie. No, 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 no. Yeah, I think you would like it. Depending on, you know, I don't want to, you need to tell me how old you are. But like, if you're, if you're younger, you'll, you'll like Klaus. It's a very unique Christmas story. Klaus is, wow. Will Ferrell, best man. I, I, uh. Klaus is what are you talking about? Klaus is for boomers. You 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 same children wanted to put the rabbit movie on S tier. Get out of here. Get out of my chat. You already told us you were ancient. You are. I'm like, what what do you want? Klaus is amazing, but elf is just better. These kids have the worst taste. Klaus is for boomers. There's not a more untrue statement. So I, I have seen the Drake and Josh TV special. I saw it years ago, so I can't give it a fair judgment. Oh, that's where um, that's where my favorite Christmas movie. That's where I uh, Christmas movie, Christmas song. That's how I, I I um I heard that for the first time. It's one of my favorite Christmas songs, and it's one of the most unique Christmas songs that's out there. By the waitresses, uh, it's an awesome song. Yeah, uh, Elf is winning. All right, so Elf's going to go up here. I think Elf is poo-poo. It's... Elf is not bad. Okay, so now this poll... This poll is decided. Does anyone disagree with anything on the top of the nice list that should move down? 
Does anything, anyone think anything should move down? Besides animated Grinch. You think Home Alone 2 should move down? Elf needs to... We literally just moved Elf up. We're not moving it back down. No, Steve, I disagree about Home Alone 2 because Home Alone 2 has the moment with the homeless lady above the, the orchestra with, with John Williams. You have the Turtle Doves. You have the Duncan's Toy Chest. Where's Halo 3? Okay. So you have... You have more endearing moments than the original home alone and there's more fun had in new york 